Alright everyone, this is Optinoob and welcome to my final Fantasy VIII Remastered Guide where I'm showing you how to get the second best weapon in the game within the first 90 minutes, 60 to 90 minutes give or take on the 60 I'll probably say um, Alright, so I'm just showing you where you start just in case you're a complete beginner, you may not know where to go, so it's not objective you'll start in a classroom, you come and talk to the, um, that lady there, you teach your quizzes you come out here, there'll be a small scene. You can go on the tour with her if you, go on the tour with her if you want, it's completely up to you. But either way, when you come into this, um, onto this part here, make sure you talk to this NPC before the elevator because he gives you seven cards. Okay, we may need them for later. Alright, so you come down the elevator, you just keep heading south, keep heading south. When you come through to the turn gate, make sure you take the exit one on the right, otherwise you won't be able to pass through. Just keep heading south and you'll find your teacher down here near the exit. Talk to her and she'll give you two guardian forces. Now I skipped this tutorial, but if you're new to this, make sure you read these tutorials because these mechanics can be a little bit daunting when you're first playing. So she'll give you these two guardian forces. You, to skip it, on PS4 I press circle, but on the Switch I think it was... Um, the lower button is it B to skip it. Anyway, once she's given to you, come into your you want come into your inventory, change your config, change your um, uh, memory, the um, battle thing to memory. Come into the Guardian Force menu and learn select card with a uh, Chris Coltal. In Shiva, you want to uh, select Ice Magic Refine. So go into GF and select Learn and pick them once I did. Then come into Squall Status and turn Gunblade Auto to On. You just keep pressing the X to um, keep going to the other tabs in the status. Um, go into Junction, um, give Squall a Chris uh, Cattle, sorry about it, I can't quite pronounce it. And then give him the abilities, magic, item and draw. Go in Junction the uh, Christus and give her the abilities, magic, draw and item. Yeah, Junction, the other GF to her, uh, Shiva. Okay. So you just want to head up here, as you can see I've got a times 3 on, I'm using one of the boosters, just to speed this up, all, all it's doing is making time go faster, that's all. Alright, so you come through here, there'll be a few more tutorials, I'm just taking you through the first part of the story to begin with, because we need to progress this a bit to um, get, the, get the punishment weapon early, anyway, so you come through here. It's completely up to you if you want to skip battles or not. To skip you just press the two shoulder buttons in together when you engage in battle. Um, a lot of experienced players do like to play through at a low level. Because the enemies scale to your level but they scale slightly better than what you do. So they'll always get be a bit stronger than you but if you stay at the level you are their health will stay low. And you'll obviously with your junctions, your abilities, you will soon rise above them. But just if you level up, they you won't be as strong as what you could be, that's all. But but there's you know there's cons and pros to it. I mean, who wants to go through a game without leveling up on the first playthrough? Alright, so at the end of the fire cavern you'll come to this boss, this guiding force, just keep attacking him with basic attack. You do about 100 damage at a time, he's got about 900 health, so it won't take long. Well I think it's about a thousand health. So it won't take long. Just keep attacking him. If you do need to heal, use the draw command on him. On him. Set one. The, I think it's a center question mark or the bottom one, and then select cast on your. Um, well, first dock, and you'll find out what item it is. It'll be a cure, and then once you know it's a cure, cast it on yourself, and that'll heal yourself. Alternatively, just go into your items and use a potion on yourself if you need to heal. But you should get away without it. As you can see here. I'm showing you here, so I've just stocked a cure. If you do need to heal, just go into his draw from him, go into the middle selection and cast that on yourself and that will cure yourself if you do get damaged. Just continue attacking him, basic attack. And he should fall eventually, I think one or two more hits. No, he's still not quite there yet. Like I say, he's not got much, he's doing 100 at a time and he's got about 1000 health. There we go. That will be your third Guardian Force. Alright, so you'll get his card as well, which is very useful, in 20 AP. Alright, so you take him. Now you just want to exit the cavern. Another tutorial they may want to watch. 
it can be very over overwhelming at first, the junction system and that. Even reading the tutorials. Right, well first, once you got over it, go into the GF, go into learn and select strength plus 20% for him. And then go into junction and junction him to squall. Give him to your main character. So your main character's now got two guardian forces assigned to him. Now just exit the place and escape from battles. I mean, normally I could probably get away with skipping this. You know, if experienced players come in here, they'll know all this. So they might think, why, why is he showing that? You know, why is he showing us this? This is just for you, you beginners. That's uh, which uh, this is your first time playing. Like I said earlier in the video, it's not the, uh, it's not always clear where you need to go next. I mean, it is highlighted sometimes in blue, blue um, text, but it's not always clear. All right, so just heading out here now. We're outside the fire, fire cabin. What you want to do now is just head to the mountains to the, to the north. I think it's north. It can be a bit difficult to or or orientate yourself sometimes on this map. So yeah, just head to the mountains, run alongside them until. Not, not this chap. Not this chap. You want a certain enemy, the, uh, the glass, glacial eye. So just run along the mountain, waiting for the encounter to happen. That's it. And these these chaps should appear. Well, one or two. What you want to do is just draw about, draw cure from them about ten times, just to stack up on some healing items. That's it. Just draw it about ten times from them. That'll probably get you about 40 or 50 cures. Then once you've got them, just run away and we will begin a little bit of farming. Now with this farming about to do, I will be levelling up and you'll, you'll see. So, but for those that don't want to level, you can... Well, you could possibly kill one of your teammates and then let the other one kill them until you get a card ability. Because when you use a card ability, um, you don't get experience from it. But anyway, for the purposes of this video, and to make it simpler, I'm just cracking, cracking on, not worrying about le not going to worry about leveling. Alright, so you, after you've got them cured and them two enemies near the mountains, you want to come down to the beach. Because there's two enemies that always spawn along the beach and they give you 6 AP and that's the most AP per kill you, you're going to get in this first area other than T-Rex probably but he's no don't worry about T-Rex alright so you just, just keep killing these just keep killing these, you're farming AP just keep killing them, what, what I will do, I'll fast forward the video in times when I need to explain what to do other than just keep killing these guys they will take a bit more to kill at first, but the more we've killed them, the more our abilities will unlock and the stronger you'll get. So eventually you'll be doing about two to three hundred damage. So it will get a lot quicker. Don't worry but don't worry about that, it's not gonna be this slow for the whole farming process. And if you want to make it even quicker, because this is not difficult, you could, if you want, use the booster that gives you ATB, ATB gauge full all the time. Because your ATB gauge will be always full, you'll just be able to get attacks almost con almost straight after each other, and it'll just speed it up a lot. But that all depends on you, because that will max out your health, and you may see that's cheating a bit. But all you're doing is grinding. You're just going to be attacking, healing outside of battle when you need to. With them cure sweep, we um, drew from that enemy near the mountains. So I guess that's entirely up to you. Alright, so you just... We're just keeping killing these. Don't worry, I'm not showing you everything. I'm going to be skipping in a second to when the important, important parts. So see, we just got the IMAG RF, we learnt that. So when you learn something, go back into that GF, and she learnt it. Go into her, Shiva, and select uh, Strength once she's learned IMAG Refine. Now, once you learn that, you want to go into Abilities, select IMAG Refine, and then refine them fish fins to scroll till he's got 100. And then you want to go into his junction and auto, auto strength them to him. 
or just place him himself. See how much damage that's done. His strength has gone from 17, what's it, 17 to 37. Now that might not seem a lot, but that's a hell, that's hell of a lot in this game. Right, so look how much damage I'm doing now, 117. Now I was doing about 45 before. So that's almost triple my damage. And once, um, once Quistis has a similar has a similar abilities, she'll be doing this, she'll be doing much more as well. So yeah, just going to keep doing this. We're leveling up. All we're trying to do is earn that AP, so we can level up. Uh, well, learn the abilities from the GF that we need. You, like I said, we need that card ability from Chris Coltle. Then once you've learned that, a card mod ability will appear. And that's the ability we're looking for. But on the way, we'll also be upgrading our strength. So we've just learned an ability lair. So we're going to go to the GF, Chris, Chris Coltle. He learned the card ability. So now we're going to select card mod. There you go. Make sure you do this. Right, so we learned that. Back farming again. I've skipped forward to where we've learned the um, ability. So we've just learned strength plus 20% from Ifrit. Once you've learned that, go back into his GF menu and learn. You want to select strength plus 40% next. We're going to go and scroll now his ability and assign strength plus 20% to his ability at the bottom there. Now that will do make him do 20% more damage. So back into farming. As you can see, I'm sort of just using the ATB booster now. You can see how much quicker it's making it. I'm almost attacking straight after. We're attacking straight after each other. Much quicker. Just for farming. Nothing else. Just built purely for farming. Alright, so I've just learned the strength junction for Shiva. Now we're going to go back onto it. Now it doesn't really matter what you learn next with her because most of her skills are not um, they're not really that useful at the moment so it's up to you what you want to select for but now we've got that strength junction when he's going into ability I mag refine fish fin and give and um, refine 100 to Quistis now junction Quistis going to attack and auto attack and that will auto put the um, that water onto her strength junction now she's going to do much more damage similar to scroll so farming a bit more, I've just unlocked the card mod ability. There we go, and that's one we're looking for from Chris Kakoto. Sorry, I ain't got a clue how to pronounce his name. So I've just learnt card mod. Uh, we're just going to farm a little bit more. For mag plus 20%. Now we've learnt that. From uh, Chris Kakoto, he's just learnt that. Mag plus 20%. Now we're going to put in my HP junction. And we're still farming because what basically what we want to do now is strength plus 40%. And that's what we're waiting for now. We've got everything else we need. We just want strength plus 40% and there it is. Once you've got that, back into the GF learning menu. Again, Shiva doesn't matter. You're going to Ifrit and now you want to select strength bonus. And then you want to junction the um, strength with 40% to your ability. Now you'll be doing 60% more damage. Alright. So we've done all the farming for now. Now you want to head into this little place here. Draw point there. You want to just come to the... No, not in there. Not yet. We'll be going there soon. Not quite yet. Come to the back in the train station and talk to this lady in the white dress. And choose to challenge her, challenge her, and then press quit on the menu that appears like so. And you, what are you doing? You're waiting until it says trade rule all. That's the one. It said all. Once it says all, talk to the guy behind her, the, the um, conductor, until his says all as well. As you see, they both say all. Once they've said all, quit out, and then head back to the fire cabin. So now we've got that card mod ability. You want to go into junction, squall ability to want to make card one of his commands so now card of this one of his commands now all we're doing now we need to get four bomb cards now you can't card an enemy at full health well i think you can but it's very unlikely that you're going to card it. it's a very low probability the less health you they've got left the more chance of carding them so just looking for bombs what you want to do you don't want scroll to hit them so you'll likely kill them with his damage let quistis hit them and then let's scroll use the card ability on it. 
So there, she's done 200 damage. I think we've got about 350. So you miss her. You will miss sometimes. Let's card it. That's it. So we've got one card there. Bomb card. Now you just want four, four bomb cards. And then once you've got them, head back into Balan. I've skipped four there. I've already got all four. I didn't want to waste time sh you um, watching me get four bomb. It doesn't take long, but um, I'm just trying to, you know, edit this video and the show all the useful information. So we've got four bomb cards. We've got um, we've got four bomb cards. We've got a card mod ability. We've got a strength twenty and plus forty percent um, abilities, and a few others that you would have seen. All right. So back in Balam. Now, do not go, do not go to your bed and get changed because that would advance the story and you won't be able to do this. So for now, now we're going to play cards. So now come and save your game. Remember, do not go to your bed and get changed if you know where that is. So come to here, save your game, and now there's a little kid in blue running laps around the central area. There he is. You see him running. He always come. He'll always run in an anti-clockwise direction. You want to play him, make sure it says trade rule all. If it don't, just quit out and choose again. Right. With your cards, you've got four bomb cards. As you can see, they're more powerful on the on the bottom and the right. So you always want to start from top from the um, top to left and work bottom to right. As you can see, like I am. Like this. And then you should be able to finish off with your Ifrit card. And that should, because it's quite strong, it should beat most of the cards here. So you always start off with the bomb cards from the, from the top left and work down to the bottom right. And then finish off with Ifrit. And you should always get some it. You won't always win, you, but most of the time that will be a w you should be able to win somehow. So you just need to keep playing him. You can either wait for him to run back or just run out the right side of the screen and back into and you should see him. Make sure you're not on times face, it's difficult to catch him and talk. You press square by the way. Press square by the way to um, play a game. Now you're waiting for this card here. See that card on the top left? That's the card we're waiting for. So you just play him until that card appears. But be careful because that card will likely beat any of yours apart from Ifrit. So just keep playing. There you go, we've won it. So now we've got that Mog card. Now we're going to save the game. By the way, I am going to be doing a brief um, tutorial video on Triple Triad and getting started. So if I didn't quite explain it in enough depth there, then um, please check out my other videos and you should find that video. I am uploading this one first, but that should be that should arrive not long after. Alright, so we've saved the game, we've got Mini Mog, now we're coming through here into the cafeteria. You can uh, talk to this guy here and choose to play the guy in the back. Obviously make sure the trade wall is all, and you just play play Mini Mog, three bombs and Ifrit. Now this guy's a bit tougher, so just make sure you be careful. As you can see, just flip my card there. You always want to try not to flip a card if you can, just always try and play safe. You can normally catch them up. You can normally catch them in the end when they make. They always seem to make a mistake at the end. Just try and play it safe. Always going from if you use them bomb cards, top left to bottom right, and they shouldn't have much that will um, un, uh, beat them. Set that seven and a six, just like this. So what I've done, I fast forward slightly. Basically, you're just going to keep playing him, and what you're looking for is the Quistis card and the Iron Giant card. But the Iron Giant, if you look on the top left there, that's the card we're looking for. We want six of them, and this guy is a, a um, his his level of cards he plays with. He's only got two levels. It's um, level five, I believe, and level one, or it might be level two. But he only plays with them two levels. So you have more chance of getting the Iron Giant from this dude, that's why we're playing him. You will not find it from anybody quicker this early in the game. So you're playing him to get six Iron Giants, that's that one in the top right looking at the screen now. And the Quistis Rare card, which we'll get shortly. So there, there's the Iron Giant, we want six of them. I've just fast forwarded it to another Iron Giant I've got. Here we go, there's another one. So as you can see, I'm, I'm using slightly different cards now. I'm using some stronger cards. Basically, you're, 
on your card deck when you're selecting cards to when you um, want to begin playing the triple triad game your your strongest cards will always be right at the back so all I've done, I've, I, basically I just keep selecting the back cards the bombs were quite strong for a while but they've been overtaken now by the stronger cards which should help me um, help me out here so I'm carefully looking, each time I put a card down you want to try and put one down so only one side is exposed or two sides if you must Sometimes what I try to do, you try and you try and um, place the cards in the way so that AI sort of traps himself. They'll trap a card in the corner with only one card will connect to it, and that allows you to easily get that card without worry of him, the AI flipping it back over. So each time you get one of these cards, you may want to save your game just in case you lose. So each time you get an Iron Giant or Christus, go and save your game just in case and you can save in your room like I just did but remember do not do not go on your bed all right so there's the Christus guard you see and there's the I another I another iron giant together right as you can see that Christus card is very good that A that beats everything at even nine so but it's been very silly with where he's put that to be honest I've been quite lucky there so I'm just thinking about what to do I say always want to be careful. If you if you think there's n there's no other way, um, you've got no way to avoid him swiping you over. Then try and try and take another card. Try and take one of his cards out in the process. All right. So we've just got Quistus. I see we've got two big and wedge cards now, and we've got three really strong ones, rare ones: Mini Mog, Ifrit, and Quistus. So still playing, still getting the Iron Giants. I don't think I need many more now. Right, I'm just thinking here, like I say, I'm trying to be careful. With Ifrit, he's very good at putting him in the bottom right. Then like them bombs we started with, they're good in the they're good to come in from the top left, but Ifrit's good in the bottom right. And you'll find the AI in Balam, they never have a card which has a has a point higher than seven. So if you've got eight if you've got seven or higher, they'll never be able to flip that side. So try and remember that. That's why Ifrit, his top and his top, his top, his top, sorry, excuse me, his top and left, they can never beat it unless they've got a rare card, which then they have one off anyway. And once you win them, there's no more. Alright, so I've come down here because I've got my six iron giants that I need. I've got them. So what we're doing now, all we need now is three more, I think they call it Adamantoys. We do need Tombury cards as well, but we got them from Quistus. We need one of them, and we got them from Quistus. So you come in here, the hallway to the library, and there'll be a, a dark-skinned fella walking left to right, or right to left, but he'll come around to me, there he is. You want to talk to him, he'll say hey, so you know when you've got him. Talk to him. Now he plays he plays only two sets as well, similar to um, that other card player. But he plays, I think, level four and level one or two. So he's got more... He's, He's the um, NPC that's got the most chance of playing this, the Adamantois card. The card in particular is, from the bottom left, on his cards he got, he's got available, it's the second one from the bottom. Well, if it's got like a little rock in the corner, a rock icon. That one he's just put down, we need uh, three of them. Now, he's not as good as the card player, the, the Quistis card. We've got the Iron... This, this guy, he's a bit easier to sort of um, manipulate. So we're just looking for three of them cards. So we've just got one. Yeah, as you can see, I've got seven Tombury King cards. They're what you need as well, one Tombury King. But we, you should get one of them when you're getting your Iron Giant from the card player in the cafeteria. All right, so he's got no Adamantois here. But I'm just trying to show you. Now this guy, he, I'm just trying to show you a few other ways to uh, beat him. So this guy, he might have a few sevens, but most of the rest of his deck will be quite low. But as you can see, if you always put Ifrit in the bottom right, they'll never be able to beat that. And then you can put, um, you can s sort of always put somebody underneath that top card and he'll always trap himself, sort of. Just try and, try and always play defensively and always go for, always go for um, 
flip over when it's safe to do so. They'll normally always trip themselves up at the end. So we've got all the cards we need now, three Adamantoids, one Tombri King and six Iron Giants. So now going to your abilities, I'm just showing you here the cards. Yeah, go into your abilities after, then card mod. And you want to, the gizzard, you want to break that down into uh, eight screws. Uh, Adamantoids into one turtle shell. Iron Giant into two star fragments. And Tombri King into one chef's knife. Now the um, gizzard card, I didn't mention that because you have plenty of them. You they, um, they're level one, so they're very easy to get. So you've got the eight, you've got the eight screws, you've got the two star fragments, you've got the one chef's knife, and you have the one turtle shell. All right, so I've advanced the story a little bit. All we need to do is go and get changed, and then um, leave the room, and the cutscene will happen. You'll end up coming here in the car. Now once you you can come here yourself if you want, you don't have to carry on with the story, but come here. Come here where you met that lady, you, you changed the rules on the cards, and you come into this room here. And this room lets you um, craft, well, upgrade your weapons. Now, the pun punishment, as you can see, it's there. That's the second best weapon in the game. As long as you've got all the materials needed, it will appear. If, it, if not, it's because you haven't got all the materials. So that's it, the second best weapon in the game within 90 minutes. I hope this helped. If you like the video, please like and subscribe for more. And please check out my other videos. Thanks and see you later.